Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what's going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we'll pray through today's prayer together. Is life feeling chaotic? I get it. I'm Rachel Wojo, host of the Untangling Life podcast. Don't miss the passionate encouragement and faith-based resources you need to help you clear your head and calm your heart. As Shell says, it feels like Rachel always knows what I need to hear. She keeps it real and is so humble. Her podcast is just the cherry on top. Enjoy Untangling Life with Rachel Wojo on lifeaudio.com or your favorite podcast app now. We are representing a second whistleblower from the FBI, Marcus Allen. Due to whistleblower retaliation by the FBI, I've been suspended without pay for over a year. Because of you, ACLJ donors, you get the best attorneys in the world. A Prayer for Those Who Are Hurting by Christine Brown, read by Leah Martin. All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is our merciful Father and the source of all comfort. He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. When they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort God has given us. 2 Corinthians 1, 3-4 We stood in the foyer of our church that Sunday morning, chatting over unbelievable events of the past week. One friend brought up the fact that a church just across town grieved over the unexpected death of their young pastor. He left a wife and two children behind. How could something like this happen to such a good family, one person asked. As our group took turns sharing their thoughts and Committing to pray for the grieving family, I couldn't help but linger with her question a while. Many people in our community are hurting, and I didn't know what to do. Every day I come across someone else who's hurting. The needs around us can feel overwhelming if we don't know where to turn to find comfort. The Apostle Paul reminded the church at Corinth that God is not only merciful, he's also our source of comfort. God's presence is the one place we can find supernatural comfort that will soothe the deepest wounds. But God's promise to comfort us in our troubles doesn't stop there. He gives generously so that we can comfort others in their difficult times too. God's word says he comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. When they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort God has given us. 2 Corinthians 1 4. Paul told the church about the troubles he personally endured. He described himself as crushed and overwhelmed and used his testimony to encourage believers. 2 Corinthians 1 8. Because of the trials he faced, he learned to rely on God more than ever. What an awesome promise from the Lord! He can use our deepest hurts for our good and his glory. God knew we would have times in life when we'd need our brothers and sisters of faith to surround us with love and tenderness. But I often hesitate because of fear of saying the wrong thing or not knowing what to do. But thankfully, God equips us with his love, guides us by his spirit, and empowers us to reach out to a hurting world. God will allow us to be the answer to someone's prayer, offering compassion to a hurting heart. So let's seek God's presence as we ask ourselves, who do I know who's facing trials right now? Who can I pray for today? Let's begin with this prayer for those who are hurting and trust our merciful God to point us toward people in our lives who need his comfort. Let's pray. 
Dear Heavenly Father, everywhere around me I see people who are hurting. They're dealing with things like grief, disappointment, and discouragement, and they need your comfort. Be present with your children right now, Lord. Help them feel your Holy Spirit wrapping them in the warmth of your loving kindness as I pray. Your word tells me, even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. For you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. Psalm 23, 4. Thank you for your promise of comfort, no matter what difficulties we go through. People in my community, in my church, and even among my family and friends are facing trials. I want to help them, but I don't know what I can do. Thank you for reminding me that Jesus was my example for showing compassion to those who are hurting. Help me follow Jesus' example and reach out to hurting hearts. Help me listen to your guidance and find ways I can offer comfort. And above all, let me remember to always start with prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Adventure runs in the family at Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, Broadway's spellbinding spectacular. Join Harry and his son Albus on a mind-blowing race through time, brought to life with the most astonishing theatrical magic ever seen on stage. It's time to believe in magic again at Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Celebrating five years on Broadway. Get tickets now at harrypotterbroadway.com.